the shots by Wait, why are you guys... Wait, hold on. This past May, a WWE wrestler was arrested for domestic violence against his boyfriend. The wrestler in question was named Jake Atlas, and I, for one, pretty big WWE fan. I went to SummerSlam, Money in the Bank, and most recently SummerSlam this year, and I had never heard of this guy because he's a much smaller wrestler and ended up getting fired by WWE a little over a year ago, but would end up getting picked up by All Elite Wrestling at the beginning of this year. Anyways, not to give too much detail about his career, or lack thereof, the body cam footage of Kenny Marquez's arrest just got released the other day. Kenny Marquez being Atlas's real name, and it's honestly pretty funny, a little pathetic even. The only context you need is that Marquez's boyfriend called the police over a domestic dispute going on, so the cops obviously showed up. Marquez's boyfriend is Dave Hudson, or real name Brendan Vink, who's an NXT star. <laughs> As I'm editing this video, I realized that I called him Dave Hudson, but his real name is Duke Hudson. Huge mess up, so you're gonna hear Dave a lot. It's really Duke Hudson. For those of you who don't know, NXT is where wrestlers go before they go on to like the main card, like Raw and SmackDown. Enough of that, let's just get into the video. Can you just kind of run me through what happened? Sure. So, I can understand why he called the cops. Mm -hmm. He probably feels insecure, or he feels that I'm gonna attack him. Okay. But I'm not. Okay. I can, and you can believe me, or you can't believe me. Yeah. I am an international um, trained superstar. Okay. I have worked across the country, across the world with my name. I gotcha. He's a nobody. Okay. The guy that called the cops on you. To begin, Marquez just states his profession as if that's going to get the cops to treat him any different. He states how relevant he is and how he's such a big deal, which is super ironic because in the grand scheme of things of wrestling, he's just like so microscopic. Who he's, called the cops? Uh, yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? I'm just asking you. No, no, no. Did he call the cops? Yes or no? I don't know who exactly he called, but... Yes or no? Did he call the cops? I don't know. Okay, well, just as much as you have a right to ask me questions, do I have a right to ask you questions? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. I don't, I don't know exactly who called, but we just got okay. a number for so this. You're totally right. You have your rights. You can ask the questions you want. And the cop answered the question. Just because it's not the answer you were looking for, it doesn't give you the right to be pissed off. Right, so let's just assume that okay, let's, uh, that fucking bitch-ass fucking pussy okay. called the cops. Okay, what, right? what happened? It doesn't matter where, where what does it happened. Start? Where does it start? From? I know, but it doesn't matter. I don't want to be with him anymore. That's fine. Okay. But I have, so to, I have live to do here. my part. I know, but I live here. I pay rent here. Okay. So if he's scared, like a fucking, he's six foot five. He's fucking scared that I'm going to do something. He's six foot five and fucking jacked as fuck. I won't yeah. touch him. I've had the best sex of my life ever that isn't him. What? Why share that? What's the cop supposed to do with that? Arrest Dave Hudson for bad sex? I feel like when you're under investigation for domestic violence, the last thing you do is insult your partner with these backhanded remarks. I just want your side of the story from Big Daddy to now. Can you explain to me what happened? There's there's nothing to explain other than is a terrible boyfriend okay. and he's terrible at sex and like okay. I don't know what else there is to tell. Did anyone put hands on each other? Um, I wouldn't say so. Okay. I wouldn't say so. I got you. But you can use that against me if you want. I'm not using anything against anyone. But that's what it feels like. No. Just because you're white, it feels like I have to be the victim. Because I'm Mexican, I'm of color. That's all your like, implications. It's not no, but that's what it feels here. like. Okay, well, because you can, you're you like, did feel. anyone put hands on each other? Because I'm like, okay, well, I didn't attack him. Like, I didn't... You know what I mean? Well, there's allegations, so I'm trying to get your side of the story. But you're not telling me your side of the story. Well, I just, here's my side of the story. I don't want to be with him. Okay. I don't want anything That's to do with him. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know what happened at the apartment after. Well, I'm not going to answer that. And I have a you right. Don't have to. I know, but I have a right to, um. But this is your chance to explain so I can understand because I only have half of it. I have half and, I, and I'm missing your half. I think the cop is giving him such a great opportunity like, hey, we got your boyfriend's side of the story. We just want yours. We, we All we know is that you apparently abused him. Is that true? And when he asks if there's hands put on each other, he kind of like gives him the shrug like, oh, I wouldn't say so. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Kind of suspicious. Instead, he decides to reply with how bad his boyfriend is, not even saying anything, just says he's a shitty boyfriend and bad at sex. So he decides to bring that up again. And then he starts pulling the race card for absolutely no reason, kind of having this victim mentality to help like benefit his side, which ends up not working out for him. I don't think the cop did anything to intimidate him or profile him or do anything to really even make him uncomfortable. The video ends with him being taken into custody and surprisingly he actually like complies with them pretty well. Like he doesn't really resist. He kind of just asks questions. Are you guys putting me under arrest? 
As far as what actually happened, Marquez allegedly scratched and ripped the shirt of Brendan Vink during an argument. Apparently this was over a sexual encounter that Vink and Marquez had with a woman. And I guess Marquez didn't like how much affection or attention he was showing the woman during this encounter. So that caused this whole fight. And that's TMZ Sports, so just take that with a grain of salt. It's kind of like pretty out there. Just this past June is when the charges officially got dropped because I guess there wasn't enough evidence or maybe it wasn't as big a deal as they thought it was. Just before the charges were dismissed, AEW decided to drop Atlas as a whole. One thing I want to point out is that Brendan Vink was not publicly homosexual at the time, but after this whole debacle, it came out that he was his boyfriend, so it was a huge thing like, oh yeah, he's gay too, which I think just adds a lot more sourness to the whole Marquez side of things. Your actions single-handedly let the cat out of the bag of something extremely private for someone else. So yeah, Kenny Marquez, Kind of sucks in my opinion. That wraps up what I have for you guys. I thought this video was pretty interesting. It's kind of entertaining, but you know, it's also a little sad with the end with the whole Brendan Vent situation. Hopefully things turn out for him. I think there's a little, he's going to have a lot of support on this. Uh, but anyways, if you liked, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment if you like. And as always, thank you for watching.